Under the leadership of President Nikos Christodoulidis, Cyprus is charting a course towards closer integration with NATO, a move that marks a significant shift in the island's geopolitical strategy. This plan, recently formalized during discussions with U.S. President Joe Biden, has been received positively in Washington and signals Cyprus' intent to deepen its ties with the Euro-Atlantic community. However, the journey towards NATO membership is fraught with both opportunities and challenges, as it involves complex political, security, and diplomatic considerations. The plan, as outlined by President Christodoulidis, is built around three primary pillars, forging institutionalized relations with NATO, acquiring U.S. defense equipment, and modernizing the Cypriot military to meet NATO's standards. Achieving these objectives is not a straightforward task, as it necessitates overcoming a number of long-standing political hurdles, chief among them the unresolved Cyprus conflict. The plan's first key priority is the establishment of institutionalized relations with NATO, which would involve formalizing Cyprus participation in NATO activities and decision-making processes. Gaining access to advanced U.S. defense equipment is the second priority, which would allow Cyprus to enhance its military capabilities, improving both its defense posture and interoperability with NATO forces. The third goal involves modernizing the Cypriot military to align with NATO's advanced technological and operational standards, ensuring that the island's defense forces are capable of contributing effectively to collective security under NATO's umbrella. Cyprus views NATO membership as an opportunity to enhance its security through the collective defense mechanism outlined in Article 5 of the North Atlantic Treaty. This provision ensures that an attack on one NATO member is considered an attack on all, providing Cyprus with a strong security guarantee against external threats. Access to NATO's training programs and military resources would also enable Cyprus to upgrade its defense capabilities, increasing the island's ability to defend itself and contribute to regional security. Geopolitically, NATO membership would significantly raise Cyprus' strategic importance in the eastern Mediterranean. The island's location makes it a critical player in regional stability, and closer integration with NATO would further solidify Cyprus' role in addressing security challenges in the area. This move could also foster greater collaboration with neighboring countries such as Israel and Greece, as well as bolster the United States' strategic partnerships in the region. The broader implications of NATO membership for Cyprus extend to the strengthening of its position within Euro-Atlantic institutions, promoting stability, and enhancing its ability to address transnational threats such as terrorism, energy security, and migration. It also complements the island's existing strategic alliances, particularly with Greece and Israel, which are already key NATO partners. While the potential benefits are significant, Cyprus' NATO integration plan faces numerous challenges, primarily stemming from the island's unresolved division. Since the Turkish invasion in 1974, Cyprus has been split into the internationally recognized Republic of Cyprus and the self-declared Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, which is only recognized by Turkey. Turkey's historical opposition to Cyprus' participation in NATO and other Euro-Atlantic institutions is a key obstacle to the island's integration into NATO. Given Turkey's status as a NATO member, any push for Cypriot membership risks further escalating tensions between the two countries. Another major hurdle is the internal political resistance within Cyprus itself. For decades, the island has maintained a policy of neutrality, and its participation in the non-aligned movement since gaining independence in 1960 reflects this stance. Joining NATO would represent a significant departure from this historical position, and it will require substantial political consensus across Cyprus' divided society. The shift from neutrality to alignment with NATO could provoke domestic opposition, particularly from segments of the population that remain skeptical of foreign military presence on the island. Moreover, Cyprus' already complex security landscape is further complicated by the presence of British military bases on the island. Any further increase in foreign military presence, including potential NATO deployments, could raise concerns about national sovereignty and provoke public opposition. Despite these challenges, the Cypriot plan to pursue closer ties with NATO represents a decisive step in the country's strategic realignment. Cyprus aims to play a more active and influential role in regional and international security, ensuring its place within the broader Euro-Atlantic security framework. By working towards stronger institutional ties with NATO and enhancing its military capabilities, Cyprus seeks to address the evolving security challenges of the eastern Mediterranean and secure a more stable and prosperous future for the island. While the path to NATO membership is long and complicated, the vision articulated by President Christodoulidis underscores Cyprus' aspirations to become a key player in the region's security dynamics. The integration process will undoubtedly require careful navigation of political sensitivities both within Cyprus and with neighboring countries, 
but it represents an important step toward achieving the island's broader strategic objectives.